The Dune Marchers are exotic boots for the Titan class introduced in Rise of Iron. The intrinsic perk on them grants increased movement speed while sprinting, increased movement speed while aiming, and increased turning radius while sprinting. As a disclaimer, this video will contain lots of footage of playing the meta. If you find that distressing, you've been warned. How fast are you with these, actually? Well, if you run the Headstrong Talent already as a Striker Titan, then you won't be going faster, as those speed bonuses of the boots and that talent don't stack. After some quick mass, it works out to be about a 5% total increase in your sprint speed from the normal one, though. For the ADS speed increase, it's roughly a 6% increase. This is the exact same speed increase giving to the Hunter Radiant Dance Machine exotics. The tighter turn radius is also the same that's seen on the Hunter Frosty's boots. So, now that we know all the science stuff behind it, let's get on with the PvP portion. Right now, the Crucible can be summed up in one word. Mobility. Every single class is generally specced and played to have extremely quick movements. Knowing this, it's no surprise that Twilight Garrison was the absolute highest picked exotics armor piece for the Titans during the Taken King. Well, the Dune Marchers are here to bring that number down a little bit for those willing to try out something new. I firmly believe that these boots are on the same level as the Twilight Garrison. They're for a completely different playstyle, but offer up the same solution for players looking for more mobility, if that makes any sense. Garrison is made for those that like to have abrupt and unpredictable movements, which is great because opponents generally can't tell when you're going to activate it. Dune Marchers feel like they're made for more consistent pushing and quick reactions in those close quarters environments, so it's still going to up your mobility just in a slightly different way. If Shoulder Charge hadn't been nerfed, it would be an amazing ability to pair with these boots since you could change directions on a dime. Sadly, as of this review, the ability is still nerfed, so for now, just pair these boots with a Jug Shield and go to town. If Shoulder Charge happens to get a buff in any significant way though after this video is published, then it would be worth it to try using these boots. The real strength of the Dune Marchers over Twilight Garrison for mobility is actually due to its interaction with the Striker Titan sprint abilities. Both Juggernaut and Shoulder Charge lose their charge if you activate Twilight Garrison since you're no longer sprinting. With the boots, you can just quickly turn and keep your abilities active. In some situations, this is way better. And in others, it's not. I'd have to say that although these don't have any specific Striker Titan perks, they feel more at home on a Striker Titan subclass than the Sunbreaker or Defender. Defender already has the no backup plans to rock, and it works amazingly well with the current meta. Sunbreakers will probably be a little bit better off using Twilight Garrison though. In short, if you're looking for a new exotic to use to complement a highly mobile playstyle on a Titan, then these are definitely worth it. They are absolutely in the same tier as Twilight Garrison, and are a great transition exotic for those that might play multiple classes. Sometimes on my Titan, I completely forget that I'm even using the Garrison since I just don't play it that often. I know that's kind of a silly point, but it is worth mentioning. The Dune Marchers are one of those rare exotics that has some really big impacts on your character without even having to do much other than equipping them. For PvE, I see absolutely no reason to use these. Ruin Wings, Armamentarium, and just about every single other exotic for Titans has some sort of PvE relevance. While multiple portions of the raid have some awesome movement requirements, I don't think it would be worth losing the actual proven utility of other exotics for the various 5% movement increases on the Dune Marchers. Players might miss you due to your movement speed, but AI doesn't really care how fast you're moving. Don't use these for PvE, for the sake of your teammates. And that about does it for the Dune Marchers review. I hope you found some of the information helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.